Hello everyone! Today, I'm going to show you how to stop the spread of breaches with Illumio Endpoint. Here is our illumination map. It provides a single pane of glass view where we can see all the traffic between and to server workloads, cloud workloads, and of course our endpoints. Let's take a closer look at our endpoints. Endpoints are a critical aspect of our infrastructure and probably the most vulnerable to ransomware attacks. From these endpoints, attackers often pivot to more juicier targets in the data center. Using the illumination map, you can quickly identify the traffic between workloads. When was the last time two workloads really needed to communicate with one another? We can identify malicious traffic between the workstations on RDP and SMB protocols. Similarly, when was the last time your endpoints needed to communicate with the internet on NetBIOS, WinRM, or NTDS protocols? Using Illumio's enforcement boundaries, we can create blanket denials to deny all sorts of malicious activity between your clients, whether they're in your corporate environment or non-corporate environment. First, let's block all the traffic between workstations. In order to do so, we can write a policy to block all the consumers who are workstations from communicating with other workstations on all services when they are in the corporate network. Second, let's block all the traffic between the workstations and the internet on WinRM, RDP, and NetBio services when the workstations are outside the corporate network. With the proliferation of work from home amongst many companies, it becomes important for organizations to control not only when a user is inside the corporate network, but also when they're outside. As we go back to the illumination map, we will notice that all the communication between the workstations are red, indicating workstations are blocked from communicating with one another. This includes both user workstations and admin workstations. Now, you may ask, what if I'm an administrator and I need to SSH or RDP into certain workstations? In this case, we can create a simple rule from the dashboard to pierce through the enforcement boundary by clicking on the line between the admin workstations and the user workstation. We have now allowed all traffic from the admin workstations to the user workstations but the traffic from the user workstations to the admin workstations are still blocked. Now that you have seen how easy it is to create endpoint segmentation rules, let's take a look at how Illumio endpoint can be used to further restrict access to the data center through least privileged access. We can create policies that allow specific Active Directory groups to access a specific set of applications Let's consider an example with two users, Sally and Ethel. Sally is a sales user and Ethel is an engineering user. Currently, you can see both workstations are communicating with the CRM web application on HTTP and HTTPS protocols. Before any Illumio policies are applied, both sales and engineering users can access the application. By going into the rule sets, we can define a rule for the scope of the CRM application that allows any sales user logged into the workstation to access the application. By setting this allow list rule, Illumio will automatically deny any other user from accessing the CRM application. And that's it. With Illumio Endpoint deployed, we are protecting our environment from the risk posed by end users.